in the morning show here on Arise News. It's time now for our newspaper review where we'll go over the headlines from today's newspaper. And we will begin with this day. The headline story is Obaseki and Ize Iyamu go head to head as Edo State votes. INEC have promised a free and fair election. Police have deployed 31,000 personnel and they've also vowed to deal with lawbreakers. Obaseki says, God, let me lose if my re election bid will cost the blood of anybody. In the picture there, you have the two candidates themselves. Of course, you've got Godwin Obaseki, the incumbent governor on the left, and his challenger, Osage Ize Iyamu, to the right. And then you've got in that blue box underneath them some strengths and, we and weaknesses uh, for both candidates. So while we'll leave the strengths to them and their own parties, if we look at the weaknesses, Obaseki has been described as stubborn and perhaps uncompromising. He's also been perceived as an opportunist. And then his feud with Adam Zoshiomole has been perceived as a drawback. Whereas with Osage Ezeyamu, his weaknesses are that he's been perceived as Oshomole's stooge. Uh, there's that, that theme of grandfatherism coming back there, uh, that he lacks support from some key APC governors, which hasn't really been shown since the APC did come out in support of their candidate, yeah. definitely came to visit the Yaba of Benin there. He's been perceived as corrupt. Those are, of course, not our own words. Tinubu's support may turn out as a minus. We do know, of course, uh, Ashwaju Tinubu definitely came out to say that the people of Edo should not vote for Obaseki. Obaseki and described him as a dictator. And then, of course, there's talk about the economic hardship under APC's federal government, or FG, uh, a disadvantage. So it'll be interesting to see how accurate the polls are reflective, or are, indeed the, ref the results are reflective of these weaknesses here. But what, 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 do you, what do you think, uh, Indy, in uh, terms of well, how uh, accurate these, these words are? These are probably on the basis of uh, research, uh, yes. but at times research like we witnessed, uh, or polls like we witnessed during uh, Trump and, uh, and, Hillary, and, Clinton. and Hil Hillary Clinton does not speak really, even though in the case of Hillary, it was one week to the election that everything was mad because of the email yes. stuff. But then we, we see how this plays out. We see it will speak volumes for the people who are put this together, of course, this day, and see how it plays out on the ground during the elections. Exactly. You know, one of the real strong areas that would decide the vote in Edo State is the North Edo North, yes. where Oshomala, the former chairman of the party, yes, comes from. from. And they seem to, in 2019, uh, APC took that area in 2016, they, both federal and state. Mm. But of course, many waters have passed under the bridge. People have switched camps. Obasek is not PDP. Yes. Uh, that's a fantastic point, because I think if we look at parts of Edo State, which are strongholds for either party, it'll be interesting to see whether or not they're strongholds to the party or to the candidates. Mm. Because obviously, as we know, uh, Obaseki is no longer an APC candidate, but is in fact the current governor. So it'll be interesting to see if any strongholds switch within this uh, election. And then on strengths too, I, I have read across the mm. pages and listened that o Osage is a, is a grassroots pressing. Mm. That's what has... Exactly, and that's definitely played into him, where people might may criticise Obaseki for coming to Lagos and start setting up shop here. It does seem as though they've marketed Osage Eze Iyamu as somebody who has been a Benin yeah, or a been in Edo State throughout. Grassroots person. It'll be interesting. Well, still on the topic of elections, a different type of one, though. At the top of this day, the World Trade Organization, oh, yeah. and of course they're talking about Okonjo Iwala, uh, jumping the first hurdle as three other candidates drop out. It was expected for me. It wasn't. A you think deal. so? You're not surprised by that? It it'll be interesting deal. to see once again uh, if if this job does go to her. I think it'll be a wonderful for source of pride for Nigeria, for yeah. women around the world, yeah. for, for for black people as well. I just think it'd be a fantastic thing. So we're looking forward to. You, you, I'm sure you wanted to say for women, but you added for Nigeria and for black people. I understand. Go yes. ahead. Every, and, and women too. I think that that's the number one. But I'm very happy to, to see right. she's doing well in that run up. Yeah. Go ahead. All right, uh, let's go to the next paper, The Guardian. It's the same thing. Uh, There's quiet as it does to the next governor today. There's quiet. Page four, you can find that. Why Africa is recording low COVID 19 deaths. Okay, that's another story, but still on page four. Uh, uh, what again? I think that's all about it here. That. Uh, uh, Chief Robert Clark at the masthead on MBA crisis shows politicians are finally infiltrated the association, talking about the MBA Nigeria Bar Indeed. Association. Indeed. All right, and that will be, you can see a picture there of the INEC chairman and, and then the commissioners 
uh, for and then the, 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 the materials for the election. Uh, okay, by the side, let's just take one. Vote by may determine the election outcome, says uh, CDD. Let me, let's go to another paper. Thank you. Well, moving on to The Independent on Saturday, of course, Edo Decides continues to be their headline story. Their fear of violence heightens as 1.7 million voters elect their new governor or a new another a governor for the next term. Uh, it goes on to talk about how gunboats, sniffer dogs and 34 squadron commanders have been deployed. Uh, Albaseki himself has assured a peaceful po uh, poll while Oshimwale is plotting they say to arrest deputy governor before the election. That's a quote from an aide. And INEC, in response to that, say those plotting to buy votes will not succeed. That is a quote the independents say are from INEC. Uh, towards the bottom of the paper, it talks about uh, Timmy Dakolo standing by his wife, uh, the biggest challenge ever, especially during those allegations of rape yeah. against her former pastor, who is continuing to be a pastor, a very popu popular one here in Nigeria. And that is the Saturday Independent. Indeed. All right, we'll take uh, Vanguard. And of course, Edo State on the front page, how Edo battle will be won and lost today. Five riders, what will count for Obasiki? Factors that can end a Yamu victory. Mm -hmm. How Nigerians can monitor results, that's by INEC. 2.3 million registered, but 1.7 million to vote. Those are those that those are the people that have their PVCs. After Kogi, Edo cannot be worse. Mm -hmm. That's that. You can find it on page nine. Then at the masthead, uh, by my right, Edo poll, leave Edo now. Please order Wiki. Uh, right, uh, reverse governor PDP raised alarm over harassment. Uh, oh, uh, on page 25, you can read up, that up. I listened to that yesterday this morning. I'm sure the police will have a reason. Uh, in fact, people are wondering why governors uh, both sides mm -hmm. are in Edo State. But I was thinking to myself, but they are free citizens of the country, mm -hmm. you know. But but anyway, we we'll see how that plays out. Then Sullivan and Chima reconciles with Namani. Sullivan, both of them former governors of. Enugu State, as Enugu top shots begin realignment for 2023 elections. Found out on page five. And then by the right of uh, the pictures you see of Obasaki and Eze Yamu, E.K. Clark asked U.S., U.K., E.U. to name sanctioned electoral, to name sanctioned electoral offenders. See what I was talking about? Page 17. Uh, 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 let, let's just stop there. Housewife B steps on to death. Housewife, or oh, it must be a small boy, on page five. Let's go to the next one. Sure. Well, moving on to the nation on Saturday, they, of course, surprise, surprise, are talking about the Edo elections and they talk about police restricting governors and VIPs to hotels. And that's as voters decide Obaseki and Ize Yamu's faith. I do believe uh, if we're continuing to talk about us definitely not wanting any type of issue with violence, keeping people as safe as possible, as restricted as possible. I love the way they is put it, street governors to their to hotel. hotels. That's what they were doing. I'm sure How the police have a reason. Ever, when we're talking about violence, especially electoral violence, it's never really the candidates themselves, oh, you well. know, rolling up their fists and getting ready to fight. It's always via proxy. So, well, of course, they were going to be Interestingly, I so. had something yesterday from Jega, our analyst in Abuja. Uh, he said, it's, you know, I have always pointed that, I have always thought about that. Mm -hmm. The people sign peace accords, the people up there, but I'm always wary of... Uh, their followers. Yes. But what he pointed out, though, was that it's not even the people, the contenders at top there, but the local government chairman down there in the grassroots who wants to win his word mm -hmm. for the party, for the candidate, so he can get the uh, cake when they start sharing it, you know, positions and all that. So that, that these are the people who actually uh, go to the extra length because they will not be seen as having not won their words. And mm -hmm. that was a very poignant point that he made there, mm -hmm. you know, is again, is the question of grassroots, you know. Exactly. We just hope that uh, they'll be able this to continue. This will continue to stay. But from what our co correspondents have been telling us uh, since yesterday, it's been the calm. Place is calm. But you'd imagine that the actual voting process would be calm. It's it's going to be what happens when the results are announced. Oh, begin to be announced. That's when we think, well, we, we can hope that it won't turn into violence. But I'd imagine that if ever there were a point where we would start to see clashes, it would be because one camp is not happy with the result of the election, which we can only wait ahead and see and hope that that doesn't cascade into violence. We definitely do not want a repeat of what happened in Kogi and Bayelsa in Edo or in any other place in Nigeria. Should the war 
It shouldn't be a war. It shouldn't be. Just an election to serve your people. So why would you want to die for it? Or why would you want to get people to die for it? If you, you lose, you'd you almost forget that, that this is just civil service. Absolutely, it's important. It's, it's But we, we, people can't be losing their lives. Yeah, I don't get it. I don't get it. That's the way it should be. For a state. You know, then you wait up for your, if you want to come again, you come again. You know, it be, if it's about service, really, we won't be getting all this. Yeah, we just want the will of the people to be done, to be to be held. You done with that? I am done. Thank all you. All right, uh, Daily Trust Saturday uh, anxiety as 1.7 million voters elect Edo Governor Buhari once against two or die mentality. He said that in in the speech the other day. We're afraid of violence, residents. Not what we heard on TV the other day. Uh, Weekend's life in danger in Bini. That's its reverse government saying yes. there's one. Uh, you can find this on page four. Uh, then down below the pictures, gunmen kidnap mother for kids from home. Page seven, read that up. And then Kanu, Chikawa villages, villages where pregnancy sparks fear. One would wonder why. Page five, read that up. It should be a good thing, pregnancy. Then 2,352 days since Chibok Skugas were abducted. A sad day that day was. I was still hoping that uh, their parents will see, still see the kids and Leah Sharif was as well. Woman health for beating steps on today. We took that earlier. Indeed. All right. Read of Thank this you. Daily Trust. Well, moving on to the Saturday Telegraph, they have a very interesting caricature of Obasekian, is a Yamu in a Titanic jewel. You see the two uh, politicians there each with a hand on the seat uh, that obviously would the, the governor of the state would sit on. So you can see them both. Who go to your side of the house? This is it. But it, it, it does look like it's quite an equal fight there. It's This chair is definitely in the middle of the both of them. It doesn't look like either person has. Is winning, yeah. Uh, is winning. So that is an, we like to think, an accurate depiction as voting begins today. To the right there, it talks about Edo numbers at a glance. We already know that there's what's been 1.7 million registered voters. Um, but among those male voters, you have 90, 923,000 male voters and 868 female voters. So it'll be interesting to see how people, how, what the voting lines are like around, around gender. It'll be interesting to see if we get that analysis. In addition to that, there are 2,627 polling units. That's around 192 wards. And we've also talked about how police have deployed 31,000 personnel and the NSCDC, 13,000 men. Soldiers, the Air Force, are on strategic security guard where a special force to the man borders towns. Navy, Marine are there for, you'd almost think that this isn't an election. Like, are we getting ready for war or not? You know, that's, you that, that's, that should be the next level. How do we, how do we, uh, why should we, get, why should we even restrict people? Mm. Why should uh, the, 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 all, all the security agencies gather there? Uh, I don't know whether it's an offshoot of uh, the uh, military mentality, mm. but we've got to begin to look for ways to get to a place Whatever has to be done so that elections will not be like there is a war. We have all the security people there and people can move around. It doesn't happen like that in all the climbs. But these are the things that we have. Okay, just 30 seconds. Uh, Saturday, Sunday. Um, Obasaki is a Yamu in tight race. Uh, Naira rain may swing victory as PDP APC open their vo vaults. That's how they put it here. <laughs> not going back on oil water resource bill. Buhari Skinsman, Prof. Usman Yusuf won Southern leaders. Well, I don't know whether he's a senator or a House of Reps member. Yes. He's a lot thing. He won't be Indeed. voting, so I wonder why he's saying that. Well, Black Weekend in Airboyne. And I'm 31 killed in a, a, a feet ball. Keep it all. That's sad. Well, that brings us to the end of our newspaper review.